Hello, welcome to lesson 8, Program Control Statements in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankh Pro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll learn the Programming Control Statements in C-Sharp. C-Sharp provides three categories of Program Control Statements. They are Selection Statements, which includes If and Switch, Iteration Statements, which includes For, While, Do While and For Each Loops, Jump Statements, which includes Break, Continue, Go To, return and throw. Note except throw which is the part of C sharps exception handling mechanism and this will be discussed in later lessons. Right now we'll jump into selection statements that is if statement. If statement. If statement we can make using if statement we can make logical decisions and here we test the expression. Test expressions gives either true or false. In the if else block below you can observe if the conditional expression is true the code or set of statements presented in that block gets executed here if the set of statement is true if the condition is true the set of statements or the code present in the if block this block get executed and if not the set of statement present in the else block from year to year that is that gets executed to understand it clearly we'll jump into demo i'll fire up visual studio and I've created a project control statements this is a console template project and here I'll just remove the unwanted usings now what what I'll do here is first I'll take the input from the user later I'll compare that value with my with my value such that we'll understand the clear cut demo of if statement first I want to take a uh, input from the users such that I'll give him a message telling that please enter a number I'll use the console class dot right line telling that please sorry please enter a number Now, once I run this program, once I run this program on the console window, you'll get a message, please enter a number. Now, when the user read this, he'll enter a number. Now, when the user enters a number, I want to read it from the console. In order to do that, in order to read from the console, a number from the console, we have a function called read line, which is present in the console class. We'll make use of it. Console dot read line is the function which will read the number from the console and our job is done it will read the line from the console but keep in mind the read line reads the input entered in the string format it reads the line but it keeps that in the string format once we read the line we need uh, read, read, read the line from the console we need to assign it to a variable so in order to do that I'll create a variable called user enter number now I'll give it a type integer type now when I what I've done is I've I read the number from the console using the console dot read line now I'm storing that number in a variable called user entered number and the return type of it is integer. Keep in mind the read line reads the number and keep it in the string format but we are storing in a variable of data type int. So we are to convert it is telling that cannot implicitly convert the type string into int. In order to do that we will use parse method which is present in the int. Now we will use int dot parse. Parse is the method which is converting the string format into integer format Now we are taking the input from the console window and storing in a variable called user entered number and return type of it is integer. Now we'll call the if statement. Now we'll compare the Boolean expression user entered number equal to our com compared value that is 100. Now once I do this 
what I'm trying to do here is in the if statement, I'm comparing the user enter number with my value that is unread, whether both are equal or not. Once if they are equal, it has to print a message on the console telling that user enter number is equal to unread. I'm going to print a message on the console. We'll use the console class console dot write line. user enter number is unread but there is a situation if user does not enter a number 100 then there should be another block to catch that now to do that we'll use else block in the else block we'll we'll write message telling that telling that user enter number is not equal to 100 I'll just copy this lines and not equal to 100 when I do this what's going to happen is when I run this program on the console window I'll get a message telling please enter a number once I enter the number as expected that is 100 it will give me a message it will store in the user entered variable whatever the number entered for example if I enter 100 that number will be stored in the user entered variable and in if statement I'm comparing that variable and the value in that 100 is equal to 100 it will print this message if instead of entering 100 in the console if I enter any number other than 100 it will print me this message for example when I run this program build has started and it provides output yes as expected now if I just give 100 it just give me a message telling that as yes, user entered number is 100 and if I run the program again and if I enter a number other than 100 that is if I enter 10 it tells me user entered is not user entered number is not equal to 100 this is the use of if else statement now we enter will run into another scenario where we'll be having multiple if statements that is control C I'll just erase out this I'll copy this and control V now I'll change this number I'll change this numbers like 200 respectively here also what I'm trying to show here is else if how to use the else if statement here else else if we'll use if statement only again yeah if user entered number not equal to 100 ampersand and user entered number not equal to 200 user entered number sorry I have to use logical operator that is hand user entered number not equal to 300 then it has to print a message I will just copy this and I will paste here is not in the range is not in the range of 
hundred and three hundred. I'll just reduce the font size. You can observe here. Sorry, I'll just bring it to seventy. You can observe here. What I'm trying to do here is I'm using multiple if blocks, and I'm gi I'm giving a expression for each of the block. What happens if user enters two hundred? It first comes here it fails then it comes here it checks yes 200 equal to 200 it print user enter number is 200 imagine there is a scenario if user does not enter the three of them also that is 100 200 and 300 it, it will print this message telling that user enter number is not in the range of 100 and 300 we are we are comparing the values you are giving an expression such that when all the three cases fail this set of if block should execute now when I run this program now if I enter a number out of range that if I give it as 500 it should give me output telling that user entered number is not in the range of 100 and 300 fine now when you look into this code you make you'll come to know that this code is not that efficient because multiple multiple times it has to come to each block and it has to verify whether the entered number is the compared number so in order to make this program more efficient we'll use else if statements else if else if sorry else if and year 2 else if Now, I'll, I'll just, I'll, this is not required here. Now, what happens when I run this program? It comes at this point. If I have given, if I given a number not in the range between 100 to 300, it comes here. It checks this condition. It fails here. Then inside the loop of if only, it will check for else if, telling that you, we're checking, checking whether the user entered number is equal to the number which has given in the console it fails here and here also it fails and finally it has to execute in this block telling that the entered number is not in the range between 100 and 300 let's run this and see the demo of it now when I give a number not in the range between 100 and 300 if I give it 500 it should throw me it should throw me a statement telling that user entered number is not in the range of 100 and 300 this is the use of else if statements. Thank you. Please subscribe to Pro Training. Have a great day.